Good afternoon, YouTube. It's Kevin here. Nice uh, sunny Thursday afternoon. And uh, just joining you today. Um, just to catch you up, what I've been up to. Um, feeling a lot better today. Just getting over a bad cold. Well, me and my kids had it. Um, luckily, my wife was able to avoid it. Um, she would have just been absolutely miserable. We're only uh, three weeks out. Uh, three weeks till the baby. Um, really excited. Um, just still... Uh, doesn't seem like there's enough time to, to do everything we need to do to get ready and, and stuff, but uh, you know we're still excited, looking forward to it, and uh, just getting everybody um, ready. Family is uh, getting excited. Uh, my boys are really excited. They can't wait uh, to have a baby brother. Um, so it's yeah, great, great things happening. Um, also alluded in my video from uh, that I made last night that I uh, bought a vehicle um, so I'm very happy about that um, pardon me guys there was definitely a source of stress for the last couple of weeks um, not only finding the right deal but uh, also having to pay for a rental car it seemed like a total waste of money but it was uh, necessary but uh, originally, the plan was that um, before my car broke, um, that I would have the car through the end of this year. That um, I would be out. My wife is out on 13 weeks leave. I'm out on five weeks leave when the baby comes. So uh, the plan was since we won't use the car that much, um, we wouldn't be doing much, we'd be saving money, um, at the end of the year, when we both go back to work, and we need a larger vehicle, uh, I would trade in my car, which was a Hyundai Sonata, and take our savings that we had and put it towards a new car, and I wanted a Honda Pilot, so... That plan blew up in our faces when my car, when the, my car broke. Uh, well, we had to scramble, and so instead, we instead of having a trade-in, I got, uh, I sold the, the Hyundai for scrap, um, and took the savings that we were going to use for a down payment on a new car, and I bought a used Honda Pilot. I'll show you guys. It's actually quite nice. Behind me. I like it. Oh, I think it shoots me. So. My kids are very excited about it because they are very uh, into cars now. And they, uh, <laughs> every time we drive around, anywhere we go, um, that's their favorite game is to just look at the um, the hood ornaments or the logos on the backs and they just know what car make it is. So that's really exciting. So when they saw Honda, they went nuts. They're like, Honda, Honda, I'd love to drive the Honda. So it's very exciting for us. Um, and uh, so, yeah, so we kind of got the vehicle we wanted. We'll get a couple of years out of it, I'm sure. And uh, we'll go from there. So, everything seems to be working out. And uh, so, what I figured I would conclude the video with, guys, is. Um, a little impression, tobacco impression, a continuation of the uh, 
I hate, sorry for the cut. Um, my memory was full, so I had to delete a couple things before I could finish recording. Um, so anyway, I am um, smoking the, the cob I got from Matt Van Pipes. <clears throat> and uh, thank you, Matt. And I'm smoking Country Squire Blue Ribbon. Um, c continuing in the tastings of uh, the tobaccos I won in their giveaway. Uh, thank you again, uh, Butch and uh, John David. So, um, it's it's a blueberry aromatic, and I'm not a huge fan of fruit aromatics. Uh, I like cherry flavored things in general. I'm a sucker for cherry. You know, I love cherries, fr fresh cherries, cherry, f anything f cherry. So I'm a big fan of Hobbit's weed. Uh, for example, um, but I've never had anything blueberry flavored, and I'm not a huge blueberry flavored fan. I like fresh blueberries, but just about anything artificially blueberry to me just it's pretty like blueberry muffins. Most blueberry muffins use uh, cranberries that are colored blue, uh, for example. Uh, so, um, So uh, even Butch uh, had made a comment to me that uh, there was somebody he goes to his shop that doesn't like, uh, couldn't smoke this, just thought it was horrible. So I thought I'd give it a shot, and it's actually, um, it's definitely, when I opened the pouch, it smelled uh, heavily, heavily of like blueberry muffin, like, like fake blueberry, like those Entenmann's mini muffins. Uh, and I took a dry inhale on the pipe before I lit it, and I got that exact flavor, um, without the benefit of the muffin itself, <laughs> so it's, um, but I lit it, and initially it was, it was kind of sweet, but it's not overbearing, it's not, like, dripping with, uh, you know, uh, chemical uh, flavors and off um, artificial flavors. It's actually quite subtle. Um, slightly sweet, but it's not overwhelming. It's actually quite pleasant. And like a lot of aromatics, it the um, the flavor really does tend to dissipate after about a third of the bowl gone. Um, so you're really just left with a hint. Of, uh, of the blueberry flavoring, and that's actually a positive thing for me because I was afraid that this, based on Butch's comments and uh, based on the aroma, I, I was afraid that it was going to be like heavily cased and just horribly tasting. Um, but I, I can tell you that it's actually not nearly as bad as I expected, and it's actually not bad at all. Uh, Is it anything I'm going to smoke on a regular basis? No. It's not my, my thing. I'm not... I don't generally like aromatics um, as a regular smoke. I, I like aromatics. I smoke aromatics, but I, I prefer non-aromatic tobaccos, and especially um, 